Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Mayor Games Tycoon 2, episode 4 of my console-focused Let's Play. Of course, it being 1978, I don't actually have a console yet. Um, 6.2 million in the bank, I need 10 million to research consoles, so I'm hopefully, hoping that happens today. Might not, might be next episode, but within the next couple episodes for sure. Currently working on Fantasy Quester, which is a spin-off, I believe, of uh, one of my adventure, yeah. Of this adventure game it's this one's an rpg though so i wanted to do the spin off get a little extra hype and uh a little ip value i think it has like half a star ip value but you got to start somewhere right it's almost ready to go um we're gonna finish squash the bugs we're gonna polish it a little bit just long enough to get some special marketing done for that and maybe even some normal marketing it's only at 21 hype i might get that up to 40 hype so let's continue development while we polish and market all right so we got an extra game tester here they are lucky. They get sick a lot, but that is fine. Immunocompromised is not the worst negative trait for sure. Amazing quester. So actually, you know what? Let's uh let's just do regular marketing. Let's get this hyped up a little bit. That'll get it to about 36 hype or so. And then we'll do special marketing. And we got new console stuff coming through. But not the actual. We don't have enough to do the actual console research yet. All right, so we'll do beta demo. And a pre-release for the press. And once we get the results from those, we're going to ship this. And there we go. 11 extra hype. Nice. Pre-release for the press. Went through. Get 3% bonus review score. Beautiful. Rock the Puzzle 2 off the market. Made a cool 2 million. That's good. Pirate Maze off the market. Made a less cool. <laughs> 550,000. But hey, at least it was profitable, right? That's all that really matters. So, hand this over to Tadu. RPG, everything looks good here, getting lots of experience and stuff. You know, the, the next couple games potentially could be pretty good. I'm hoping this one's good as well. Oh yeah, 87%, that might be my best game yet. If it's not, it's close. So that's a good game. All right, so what do we want to make now? What kind of game do we want to make now? So we just did an RPG. We could do an adventure. An adventure might be the play. We could do Fantasy Quest 3, because Fantasy Quest 2 is getting towards the end of its life cycle. I mean, it's only been on the market for 42 weeks, but like later in the game, games will stay on the market for like 70 weeks, but I don't think I'm quite at that point yet. But it's still selling 1,500 a week. And I don't want to, if I do put the sequel out, it'll hurt those sales. But everything else is like either super saturated or not popular. Actually, let's do a puzzle game. Let's do a sequel. Let's do Rock the Puzzle 3. Um, before I do that, though, I have to make sure my puzzle engine is up to date. Um, my puzzle engine doesn't exist as of yet. So let's uh, let's make it exist first. And then we will update it. Well, we don't have to update it because we're creating it. Puzzle. Tapple 2. Not selling it. We are not licensing anything this time. A little different than my typical run. And that's that's fine. That's good. That's what this run's all about. A little something different. Got some commission work in our sound room. All right, what could go for a demo right now? Fantasy Quest, but we just put that out. That's the only thing, so let's just put the demo out. This engine shouldn't take long. Maybe we'll do a quick update. Two, wow, oh my God, none of these games have had updates. All right, so let's spam updates. Well, not spam. Let's quickly do an update for all three of these. Any commission work here? There's not. And once these updates are done, we will uh, we will make a new game, a new puzzle game. Well, new. It's a new game, but it's going to be a sequel. I guess it's still new. Fancy Quester sold all right in week one. Not not exceptionally well. Oh, there, week two. Those sales are better. Oh, I mean, all three of these game sales went up, right? Partially because of the updates that I did. So develop a game, sequel. Rock the Puzzle 2. Should I do Rock the Puzzle 3? Does Rock Stars fit with puzzle probably not oh it does it does okay i did would not have expected rock stars to be a good fit for puzzle but apparently it is so we will do rock the puzzle three puzzle engine oh fair no not the fair tech terry s arcade and s arcade i said and the commander pete pretty soon i won't have to worry about this because i'll just be spamming my own console every time that'll be nice all right, so I'm good at the 2D line graphics, so that means probably gonna be new graphics coming soon. 
So let's lock in everything. All right, so this up, this down, this down. These, where are those ones supposed to go for a puzzle game? Rock the puzzle two, 50, 10, 10, 30. So we will go 10, 10, we'll go 40, 10, 10, 40, because I don't have a room to get extra technical points right now. All right, so we'll turn on everything that matters, seven to 10 or well, all seven, this seven of 10. If we were over 10 here, we would have to make a B plus size game instead of B. That's all that that means. Perfect. All right, and improve gameplay. We're gonna go all out there. Graphics probably won't, because graphics aren't that important. Same as sound, just gameplay is very important for this genre. It's already at 40 hypes. So we don't really need to do any marketing, so we can get some, do some employee search. With our, with our marketing team. All right, Fantasy Quest, our sales went up again. Oh, now they're going down. Yeah, it usually peaks around week three, week four for a new game. All right, so we got a lucky game tester. Put them in our game testing room, or QA room, I guess, as it's called. QA game testing, whatever, it's all the same. I don't think there's anything else we could be researching right now, but let's double check that. Do I have 10? Ooh, I'm almost at 10 million, actually. So yeah, and that's the last QA person. The room is now full. So let's cancel that task. This game is I'm like actually almost done. Ah, you, games are so fast to be made at this point in the game. Like it's insane, it's insane. Like anytime I started to press save file, I was like, oh my God, I forget how, I forgot how fast games get made in the early game. It's nuts. All right, so let's get this uh, ooh, 80 to 100 estimated score. That probably means it's going to be over 100, or sorry, not over 100. It's going to be over 90, probably, once it's done and we get the pre-release for the press done, right? Boom. Six hype. Ooh, we got cheat codes. And we're over 10 million. All right, so, and automation. So we'll let them finish spaceships. Um, we'll let them polish that game for another week or so. Uh, so let's, let's get the cheat codes first and then we're going to start on console stuff. So let's ship this should be over 90, especially with the extra polishing. I let them do this might be one of, if not the last game I published through Tadu. I guess I still haven't researched self-publishing. So, all right. So I'm expecting a good score here. Oh, heck yeah. 93%. That's... That's awesome. All right, so cheat codes is done. So, miscellaneous. Console development. I still have a million, over a million in the bank. So, ooh, look at all the commission work. Let's plow through this commission work. Just build up that bank roll a little more, right? And we can do a game report here. Any commission work here? There's not. What about in the sound room? No. Nope. All right, let's, uh, let's do a demo. Rock the puzzle. Perfect. Yeah, so console development is going to take a little longer. It's a much bigger, but we do have 10 people in our research room, which is a pretty high number for this point in the game. So it should go up at a decent pace. You know what? I could. Mm, I need a bigger room here, a bigger development room, or maybe I could just move that desk. I can fit at least one extra desk in here. Perfect. Now, is there anybody good out there? Oh, there's all kinds of game designers and programmers. So you don't make bugs, you're lucky, you're a fast learner with the programmers. You're good at engines, you're efficient, but you learn slow. Efficient and all rounder are really good for this room, but the fact that they're, if they didn't have untalented, I would scoop them up in a second. Um, there's nobody I really love there, so. Let's employee search. We will bump up the skilled worker. We will go game designer with the all-rounder trait. And we will look. Yeah, so we'll, we'll finish this commission work and then we'll start on a new game. Probably another adventure game. Probably now it's time to do Fantasy Quest 3, I would say. Now we got password saves. Well, research team's busy. So this next game is not gonna have password saves. And that's fine. For anybody young who doesn't remember, password saves used to suck. 
Some of those passwords were so long, trying to, and you had to write them down. Ugh. Horrible. Horrible. All right, so sequel. Fantasy Quest. Fantasy Quest 3. Go size B again. And ooh, is this engine up to date? Yes, it is. Okay. Perfect. Tapple, Katari. You get you consoles, you should enjoy this game because you're not gonna see more much many more of my games. Alright, so everything is good. Well, no, these everything's good up here. These ones on the other hand, not so much. Alright, so we don't need heavy sound anymore. Because we have the sound studio now. Those sliders were from when I didn't have the sound studio. Okay, so only five things fit. That's fine. Oh, cheat codes don't even matter. That's okay. All right, so let's go all out. Actually, let's go all out everywhere for this. Let's make let's make this a good game. I mean, adventure's a trend. If we can make a good adventure game right now, it's definitely gonna be worth it, right? All right, so immunocompromised. They get sick a lot, but they're an all-rounder. An all-rounder just so a game designer. The cap on their skill is a hundred, right? Everything else, the cap is lower. An all-rounder has a higher cap. Basically, if they were an all-rounder, the cap for everything else would be like here, right? And this room, you want to have points and everything. Game design primarily, but having points and everything else is beneficial. And the fact that they're good, make, good at making sequels is good because I make a lot of sequels. Oh, we found another one. Also good at sequels. I didn't. Uh, maybe I should have kept that one because they were also. Uh, uh, had the leadership skill, whatever. You only really need one person with leadership skill. All right, so we don't need to be doing any customer support here. Um, fan campaign. So somebody pointed out. Um, wait. Okay, so I could have swore somebody pointed out that if I did. How many of these would I have to do to match that? Because I thought somebody said if I did like four of these, you would get the same amount of fans at a less cost. What would the satisfaction? Maybe they meant the satisfaction survey in the comments for the last video. So I would have to do it 40 times, right? 50 times 40 is 2,000, right? I got my calculator out. Yeah. So 40 times 3,500 is 140,000. All right. So yeah. So let's just spam this then. I only have two people in here, so I don't know how quickly they're gonna it's gonna go. But in the long run, I can get more fans at less price, right? At less cost. All right, everything's selling good. Yeah, I'm gonna be able to unlock self-publishing soon as well, which is crazy. That means probably too early. <laughs> Generally you want at least three stars to self-publish, but if I'm cosplaying as Nintendo. I technically need to unlock that as soon as possible. It might be a terrible idea, <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyway. So Fantasy Quest 3, Rock the Puzzle 3, and Fantasy Quester. I usually just go with my three most recent games, right? 1,700 new fans. All right, so we're still working on console. That game is ready to go, so let's do the pre-release special marketing. Get a uh, beta demo. Ooh, 70 hype. That's from the invention, right? We can research strategy now, but focused on consoles at the moment. All right, so 12 extra hype. Beautiful. Fantasy Quest 2 off the market, just in time for Fantasy Quest 3 to hit, right? Yeah, I need to, I need more people in this room if I'm going to be doing that. Um, there is no office workers available, however. I could probably find it. Probably find a couple, though. Did I do the pre-release with the press yet? Yes, I did. So employee search office worker we will go efficient we will go skilled we will try to find some a skilled one all right so we're just going to wait till the end of this week and then we're going to ship this hopefully i was hoping for 80 to 100 but adventure is hard to make good at this point especially because you know there's only so many features that fit but hey we got a lot of experience and stuff now that's good i still think this will be solid i think this will be close to 85 because our sliders are holy crap 92 that's way better than i thought it was going to be because our sliders are pretty much where they need to be, right? For that genre now. All right, so game report. Let's see exactly how many of our sliders are correct. 
any commission work around the horn? There is not. How long is this going to be the trend for? 40 more weeks, so quite some time. I'd like to make strategy game, but I don't have a research yet because my research is busy, right? With the console stuff. Um, I could do another RPG. The chair of fantasy too. A little early for that. I don't want to make a skill game because it's the anti trend. It's the problem when there's <laughs> this early, there's only so many genres, right? Yeah, I'm gonna make a role playing game. I'm gonna make dragons. We're gonna call this Breath of the Dragon. That is my new RPG franchise. The drag on loops the drag on. Perfect. I'm pretty sure I think my RPG engine is up to date. Eh, if it's not, whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's that's that's good philosophy, Luch. Probably shouldn't be whatevering stuff, but hey, it is what it is. I think it is. Maybe not the sound, but at least we got the graphics in there, so it should be okay. Alright, so let's copy what we did for Fantasy Quester. And then let's take a look at the letters for Fantasy Quester. A lot of letters here. So they want story, they want innovation, they want level design, and they want violence or explicitness. Um, level design, story, innovation. So you, you, and you can go down. You can go down. Let's try that. See how that goes. All eight things matter. None of them super matter, though. Like, none of them are green. When I say green, obviously box is green the little dots not green right all right so let's improve that to the max yeah i think at this point i'm just gonna like max out everything right doesn't really make sense to cheap go cheap right now um yeah you're hired can i fit more desks in here i'd like to get another researcher or two in here if possible I don't I think the heater might be in the way. I don't know. Well, desk is at the top loops, it always is. No, no, I can't fit a desk in there. All right. I'd like to fit one against the other wall, but there's a lot of junk in the way. Right? Like, I mean, you don't need these tables. And I you know what? I don't think a desk will fit anyway. Even without the junk. Maybe right there. If I take off snapping, I can squeeze one in. All right, so I can hire two more researchers now. Speed things up. Is there any on the mark? There's five. Surely there'll be two that are decent. All right, so efficient, lucky, done. Easy peasy. All right. So, Breath of the Dragon. Yeah, we'll find one more office worker and then we'll change you. Well, maybe... This doesn't have any hype at all, so I should probably... Probably do some hype. Should probably do some marketing because this is not a sequel. There's no hype built in. So let's do posters till 15 hype. That should be pretty quick with 10 people. Um, the game is apparently done, minus a few bugs. Uh, so I better <laughs> get this marketing done fast. I'd like to get it up to 40, and then we can switch to special marketing. The problem is because to go over 40, you need to do TV ads, and it's 500,000 a pop, and it takes forever. So, it, to me, it's too early for that, right? But, wait. Oh, my God, I did not, oh, I did not do the gameplay improvements. <laughs> so, it's going to be a bit anyway, because we got to do that. Um, Whoops. Beta demo, pre-release with press. And then, oh, they they finished that really fast anyway. So I guess I had nothing to worry about. Console developments, 58, 60, 59, 60% done. Okay. Um, Puckman 2 is off the market. That's my skill game, but skill's the anti-trend. So it's just as well. 70 to 90. I was hoping for more. I was hoping for more. But that's fine. Playing game. Yeah, we haven't made a role-playing game super lately. I do have like three role-playing games on the market though, right? Because Mature Fantasy is still on the market. We'll see. 
We'll see if Blutera Fantasy and Fantasy Questers sales take a nosedive at all. Now that we have that other one out there. I'm slacking on the game updates. In a perfect world, I would be getting a second. I guess I have the space for it. I probably should get a second um, room, a second development room. So basically, the idea is you have two development teams, right? One of them develops games, right? Obviously. Um, and just nothing else other than maybe the occasional trip to, uh, to, to train. Um, secondary development team, they update engines, they make new engines, they do game updates, like free and paid, mostly free, and they do the commission work, right? Which frees up your main team to just make games. Um, and I do have the space, like I can buy this. It's seven million though. If I do that, I won't have enough to unlock self-publishing. Money's rolling in pretty quick though. I mean, I could put it here, then I don't have space for my console development room, right? But I'm not ready to develop a console anyway. So yeah, that's um put another how many well how many desks can I fit can I fit in this size room? So I have 10 now. Right? If I can't fit way more than 10, then there's no point. Really, right? Yeah, that's way more than 10. It's what? 16? Yeah. Alright, so let's get let them do that puzzle. Um they're doing that. All right, is there anybody, any gameplay, game designer, programmers? Oh, we got a legendary, Jeff Mintos. Oh, lucky and efficient, huh? The dream, the dream. And what about programmers? Lucky and doesn't make bugs, that's not bad. And you can start on commission work. Everybody else down, once they're done with what they're doing. Yeah. What about commission work in these other rooms? Yes, Graphic Studio has some. All right, so let's grab everybody out of here. Move them down here. Now, I need to find some people for the other room. So we need game designers and programmers because programmer skill is what matters for engines, right? So we're going to even give them the engine expert trait, right? So they'll be able to fly through engines. It should be perfect. All right, so that that didn't do much, but I don't want to wait too long between games here, right? Basically, I, I hate it when my other teams, my graphics and whatever team, I hate it when they're not doing anything. Like it bugs me. We need we need more more than one person, so maybe maybe I should scale back and just look for um, less skilled people just to fill the room. Actually, I need I need to fill this room, so let's go. Game designer. And I just want to build. Yeah, let's get a couple more people in here. Perfect. They're a fast learner or quick learner or talented, whatever it's called. Which is ideal. Alright, so the next one I'll put up there. And up there. Okay, so I can get picky again here. Let's end automation and end automation here. I don't care about commission work. I need to make a game. I need to make a game here. So develop a game. What are we on now? What have we not made lately? Well, skill, obviously. I made a race. Probably let's probably do a racing game. Um, do we still have a racing game in the market? We do. Nah, it's too early to do a sequel. We'll go racing. Okay, other than cars, do I have anything that fits for racing? Airplanes, maybe? Do you do an airplanes? I, I did a dragon racing game once. It didn't work. Um, I had a whole IP once that was horse racing. That worked. I'm not seeing... And maybe I missed something. Spaceships racing? Sports racing? Tanks? Tank racing? Transportation? That is the trend. So let's try that. We'll call it Transport King. I I think all fits for racing. Oh, you know what? That engine's racing engine's probably not up to date. Yeah, it might be. 
No, it is. Okay, it is. It is. It is. It is. Skill engine's not up to date, but that's because it's the anti trend and I haven't made a skill game in a while. All right, well, at least I remembered everything. Save me a little time. All right, Tapple, Guitari, Astro, Commander Pete. Enjoy it. Enjoy it, other consoles, because you're not going to get to do it for much longer. All right, so this is only my second racing game. So let's look at the letters from the cherries. That is a lot of letters. Of course, satisfied, enthusiasm, blah, blah, blah. All right, story, length, core. Store length, story, core. And too violent, mission design and level design. All right, so we got to take off four points. Try that. Should be better in the first game at the very least. Right, and game report. The sliders 10, 40, 30, 20. So put this down all the way to five. We'll go 35, 25, and then we'll put this at 30. 35, try like that. See how that works. Okay, turn on everything that matters. And away we go. All right, and that needs hype. So let's hype it. Let's get this done first. Don't leave it till the end like we did with the last game. All right, so we do want to make the sounds good. We do want to make the graphics good. We do need to put a bunch into the gameplay since we put that slider down so far. We're counting on the QA team to really carry that. All right, so let's uh, let's update the skill engine. Let's get this primitive mono sound included in there and update to the tablet too, even though it doesn't matter because pretty soon it's gonna be for my console once it exists, which will be early in the next episode. But that's all for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Most importantly, be good to each other, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.